<clears throat> Hi, Ultra. Hello. Ultra Beard. Also known as Steve. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Back. Ah, there's cars over there. <laughs> Meaty butt. <laughs> I think not. There's not a mean bone in my body. Well. shouldn't be doing this with the cops around. I don't know if they get notified. They do? Fantastic. <laughs> Great. Amazing. to myself. Okay, stay right there, stay right there. Fuck. I hate this wheel. I fucking hate this wheel. Alright. 
back to the task at hand. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Rest in peace. Alright, let me see. Let me show you the chat there. Hopefully EMS is in service tonight.
fucking eat. <laughs> Operation Ragdoll. Is that even a thing? No, that's this one. <laughs> help me please help help me He is not going to make it. Everything's becoming very dark. I'm about like to lose. Kicking. I'm about to lose conscious. Sir, can you hear us? Yes, but everything is getting dark. I feel like within 30 seconds I may lose conscious. Well, let's yes. uh, let's get you. Uh, let's get. I'm gonna gonna gently pick you up. I'm gonna bring you over my car. I'm gonna put you in my car. We're gonna bring you to pillbox. Okay. All right. Let's get you some attention. Oh boy, I'm I'm not going to make it. Mm. No, you'll be okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to cuff you though to put you in here, okay? Yeah, can uh, 501, can you give Damon the call? Because I'm uh, currently going to 76 the pillbox with uh, the fuck is times that? one. <clears throat> 10 4.
Was I not Show wearing my fucking seatbelt again? I could have sworn I put my seatbelt on. Okay, let's get you on out of here. The looks just don't believe in seatbelts, apparently. We have a doctor on their way, sir, so just hold on with me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this character before. I mean, it's clearly Dr. Arnold. Dr. Damon's I've never seen him. He's on his way here. Cool. I don't think I've ever seen the blonde one either. Can he still speak? Uh, is he still nah, conscious? He's, 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 he's out. He's out like a lot. Probably lost too much blood. Holy shit. <sighs> what the... What? I'm unconscious. What? Yes, what is what WDIF uh, mean? Pretty sure this is worse than Loke. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking Damon. over to see if he has anything, you know, on his person to identify him. Dr. Damon prescribed him with medications, and he appears to be off his meds. Uh, and with the threatening remarks he made over Twitter, we might have grounds for a 5150. Oh, it is. Uh, I found a piece of, uh, I don't know if it's an ID or like a piece of paper or something, but it is a Warson Loke. This is Mr. Morrison. Look, I'm getting uh, emails of his uh, medical records. Um, we are going to want to get him treated, but at this point, I'm going to consider himself a danger to himself and possibly the city. So we're going to want to hold him for 5150 for medical examination. Uh, you know what else I found? What's that? I found a picture of Mayor Love with uh, Hey Hey written on the picture. Well, if we uh, needed evidence for who's leaving the hee hees all over City Hall, I guess we have it now. But uh, uh, somewhat, but you can't really put, you know, two and two together like that because anyone can write he he. You know, it's, it could be circumstantial. True. It's not really that that heavy of um, of uh, what you would call it of uh, evidence. Oh, this is a tough situation because we don't have any uh, EMS on duty. We have a doctor, but he's currently away uh, on the other side of town, uh, way up north. So we're gonna probably want him to get want to get him treated through Nancy. Uh, does he have any serious physical injuries? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I mean, who's Nancy? He got ejectocedo, so probably some. Uh, some Probably just has road reasons. rash, but who knows? I'm gonna look him over. I mean, yeah, I'm doing the same thing. Hey, you you can take you can take that side. I'll take this side. There you go. Teamwork. <laughs> he was talking about bottle caps and cranes. Um, he was able. So if we do get him on his feet, be careful. No, it's okay. Mm. I mean, I well, I'm just finding a little bit of scratches on this side. Are you finding anything on that side? Yeah, just some light bruising and scratches. I think Nancy can take care of them. Yeah, do you have them in cuffs? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming cuffs. Nancy is the desk. Well, we're going to want to make sure he's cuffed. 
because of the situation from yesterday. Uh, once I get those uh, medical documents, you can read them over. But uh, he does... Let me check and see if he has a weapons permit. Uh, can you bring him to Nancy? Uh, please keep him in cuffs while he's treated, though. If he's on psych we'll just meds, find out. I'll he just find out. shouldn't be allowed to to have a permit. Yeah, uh, we should revoke that weapons license. <gasps> How dare they! Which sucks because he found a Walter in his uh, vehicle. I'm guessing it is Nancy. How the hell? Revoke his weapons license. Hello? Uh, what am what? I doing here? Why did he wake up over here? Uh, were you carrying him when you had him talk to Nancy? I dropped him for Nancy. Anyways, uh, go on, let's go back. Let's go back to here. It's okay. He's he's up. He's awake. Uh, Mr. Loke, do you do you know do you know uh, why why you're here? No idea. I was just driving, enjoying the beautiful weather, and suddenly I don't remember anything else. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Loke, do you remember yesterday at all? Parts of it, yes. I was pretty lost, if I guess you can say. Do you remember receiving treatment from Dr. Damon and receiving your prescription? Vaguely, but yes, and I have been I... taking my prescription. Do you have a weapons license, Mr. Loke? I do. You do? Do you have that on your person? I should. Okay, I'm just going to be searching you. Go ahead and turn around, uh, face away from me, please. Oh, howdy. Howdy. I was just saying that because you got up all close and personal to me, so I was like... All That's right. why I just say it. Say howdy. I see his medication on him. Looks like he has been taking it. Uh, and he does have a weapons license. Our, obviously, our MDT is not working very well. Uh, we just don't have your fingerprint on file, which is a little strange. Uh, name matches Warris and Loke. Mm. All right, mm. sir. Because we did, uh, we did find you on the road. It looked like you might have gotten into a small traffic accident and ejected from your vehicle. Um, oh, no. Have you been to City Hall at all today? I have not. You have not. Okay. Though I should probably pay a visit, as I have not found my daughter quite yet. Have you heard from your daughter recently? Maybe in the last day or so? I have not. And she is not answering my phone calls. What but about, I uh, will find her. You told us about your other daughter, uh, Agnetha. Have you spoken to her today or yesterday? I have had absolutely no contact ever with that one. Hmm. You know, Agnetha... I believe got a hold of Agatha yesterday, but uh, she also came in for some treatment. Uh, I can't disclose any details of that, but uh, hmm. Hmm. do you know where Agnetha lives or resides? Is it within the city or is it outside? I have never met her. You never met your daughter? The last I saw of her was when she was a little baby. Hmm. All right, sir. Well, he does have a weapons license, date of birth, and name matches on his uh, personal identification. Um, hmm. Well, Mr. Loke, uh, are you feeling okay now that Nancy's treated you, or are you feeling like you need further treatment? I believe I am fine. 
I just want to get back to locating my daughter. All right. Now, uh, we did have to impound your vehicle, but... Uh, oh, the, no. Uh, no worries, no worries. You can just go... If you'd like, we can give you a ride down to the impound lot, and you can get that taken out for you. Um, Dallas, uh, do you have any questions for Mr. Loke, or uh, should we uh, take him to his vehicle? I just really like that mustache you got. I can't stop staring at it. Thank you very much. All right, Mr. Loke. Well, these cuffs were merely for our safety because of the events that transpired yesterday. Glad to hear that you've been taking your medication and hmm. that you're now <laughs> healthy. Let me just go ahead and remove these cuffs. Uh, sinister laughs are not quite necessary. I am just in a great mood, and I'll be in an even better mood once I locate Agatha. Mm, any particular reason you're looking for your daughter? I want to congratulate her on her achievements. Hmm. Proud father. Well, sir, uh, if you'd like, um, <laughs> it, either me or Dallas here can give you a ride to the impound lot so you can get your vehicle. That would be most appreciated. Uh, would you like me to do that, Dallas? Mr. Loke, who would you like to drive you? Would you like blue sunglasses? or black sunglasses to drive you to the impound lot. I will allow you both to make that decision as long as I am able to obtain my vehicle once again. I do not care. I guess we're going to go I back think, and forth. <laughs> I think blue glasses would, would love to bring you to the impound lot. Well, then the oh. choice has been made. All right. Uh. 501, <laughs> go ahead and ride with Dallas for right now. I'm going to transport uh, Mr. Loke here to impound. Yeah, all, right. all right. Follow me, Mr. Loke. Let's see, I haven't been to impound in a little bit. Where is it? By any chance, did you vote for Agatha? You don't remember our conversation from yesterday? You have to realize I have been on medication, so things are a little foggy. He's not saying it. Oh, sir, uh, just for... Just for, uh, I can't think of the word. Uh, I'm just gonna need you to get in the back seat and then we can have our conversation. All right. Thank you. Ten four. So. Yeah, we had spoke yesterday and yes, I did vote for your daughter. You did vote for her. Yes. Hmm. Nice. Uh, who did you vote for? I was not in the city when the voting occurred. Oh. Well, who were you hoping won? I think there was uh, a Lily, Agatha, uh, Pepperoni, oh. and uh, I think Eve. Lily. Is that the pink-haired girl who's into cats? Yeah, that's her. Well, between you and me, I don't think women are equipped to run a city or anything. Mm, that is your opinion, sir, but it is the year 2023. Unfortunately. Fortunately. <laughs> what year would you like it to be? Back in the time where everything was proper and made sense. Perhaps the 1930s, I am not sure. But things are way too loose nowadays. Well, I agree with you on some things, but uh, 
Women are more than capable of running a, uh, a city. When was the last time you saw my daughter? Oh, honestly, it's probably been a few weeks. A that few I weeks. Seen her. I've, seen, I've seen her on Twitter about a week ago. Hmm. All right, sir. Here we are. I am most appreciative of your service uh, and your help, Officer what? Shane Bird. Lieutenant Shane Bird. Lieutenant Shane Bird. Yep. Did his head pop? Oh. Well, your Lieutenant... Firearm, your personal firearm still in the trunk. Wonderful. Let me it's, ask uh, you a question. I keep hearing things about missing, my daughter being missing. If I were to find any leads, would I be able to contact you personally? Yeah, you can contact me personally. If you'd like, I can give you my phone number. Please, or you that... can reach out. You can reach out through services and or, you know, uh, email us. Through I am not website. that great with apps and phones, so I would be most appreciative if I could have your number. Sure. One moment, please. Alright, Mr. Loke, I got your number, and here is mine. Thank you, Lieutenant. No problem, sir. You have any questions for me? Not at the moment, but if I do, I will call you. Alright, sir. Please drive safe, and uh, I'm not sure if your vehicle looks to be a little classic. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if the seat belts might have broke or not, but you might want to get those checked out. I will. Thank you for the suggestion. All right, sir. Be safe. You too. <laughs> Let's not do that. Hell no.
Yes. Hello.
But first, a little gas. Mr. Lowe, sorry to have you here again under these circumstances. No worries. It is totally I fine. A, I have a question for you. When you got your weapons license, do you remember the name of the officer that gave it to you? Hmm. I do not. Does the name Sal ring a bell? Vaguely. Hmm. Okay. I, I'm only asking because uh, I need to reprimand the officer that did so because they did not collect uh, the required personal information before assigning your weapons license. Um, the, the information we have missing from your profile is a uh, photo of your face without any facial piercings, accessories, or hats, and a fingerprint. So that is all we need from you today. Is that okay? Yep. Okay. Now, uh, prior to letting you inside the police station, I do need to search you for any dangerous weapons. Do you have anything that's going to poke, prod, or hurt me? I do have some weaponry. I am a fanatic I would, of it. And I would advise knife. that you put it back in your vehicle, uh, and once that is done, I can let you inside. All right. Alright, sir, do you consent to a search of your person just to make sure that you don't have anything dangerous on you? I do. Alright, go ahead and put your hands above your head, please. Okay. Alright, sir. Where did your hat go? I uh, took it I, off uh, per the lieutenant's request. Well, uh, for our mug shots, we're not allowed uh, any headwear, eyewear, or facial accessories. Oh. All right, sir, you can put your hands down and follow me. All right, sir, I'm going to be taking you to the back, downstairs, to the photo room. Um, I'm not sure. Do you have any tattoos, sir? sir? I do not.
Marcus, I believe. Just down these stairs over here. Go ahead and stand there in front of the wall. I'm going to position myself and get my camera ready. And I know it's, sometimes it's tough to stand straight. That'll work just fine. Give me one moment. All right, say cheese. Gouda. I'm a fan of Munster myself. All right, let me just put this up in our cloud system. One moment. I love monster. Who doesn't love a good monster? <laughs> monster and Gouda and Parmesan. All right, sir. All we need to do is go across the hall. I'm going to open up the fingerprint reader in my eyes. You should be able to see it. When you do, flex your e-muscle, and uh, you should be able to give me your fingerprint. Uh, you might also need to... Uh, I, there you go. It might have been a click muscle instead of E. All right. All right. Give me one second while I update your profile. Uh, goodness gracious. I blew it away from y'all. One second, sir. This pity is too goddamn big. I walk so much it makes uh, my 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 my, uh, my uh, stomach all bubble. You know what I'm saying? Sorry about that. Um, the fingerprint reader glitched out, and I didn't get the fingerprint. So one more time. I don't love technology. Hmm. This dang thing's not working. Hold on. There we go. Try that one more time. There you go. Thank you, WFW. Okay, I'm sorry, I couldn't see it. <laughs> FW, that's all I saw. All right, sir, you're all set. Now uh, we'll escort you outside of the building and uh, you can put your wonderful hat back on and go about your day. Wonderful. You know I will find my daughter. If you uh, have any information or if you'd like us to uh, look into anything, just let us know anything you find out. We have an active investigation going, so don't worry. We'll get her back safe. Perfect. Cannot wait to see your mayor right in front of me again oh the things i will do and say to my darling daughter all right well you know we'll uh, reunite you with your family as soon as we can um i would advise against uh I know you are a man uh, from a different era, but uh, the way you talk sometimes comes across a little threatening. I am the cuddliest, most passive man you'll ever meet. I don't doubt that. I'm just letting you know that the mannerisms that you're using can be deemed as threatening. Well, a powerful man exudes power. But I can see how it can be intimidating. Thanks for the tip, Lieutenant. No problem. No problem, sir. All right, you're free to go about your day. If you have any questions for us, feel free to reach out. Will do. Thank you.
And I'm gonna gut him like a fish.
Jesus Christ, Aurora. I'm uh, inside the garage. Yeah, I think I just saw you uh, run past. Oh my god, I almost okay. used Agatha's voice. I'm boys. stepping back outside. And I'm whispering. Perfect. Oh, I see you, I see you. I'm terrified. This, this is the only place I could fucking go to where I don't feel like well, something's happening. There was this orange car with... Would you like to talk out here in the open? Or? Yes, because I don't want to go outside again because they, they might see me if they're around. Okay, an orange car? Yes. But I don't want it to be, you know, shared with anybody yet. I'm afraid of what, of what they might do. They told me things that only I know, so they really have me. They really have me watched, and they're. I think they have my daughter. Okay. Do they have any distinguishing characteristics? Hair color, gender, nope. body shape. 
the windows were no. pitch black, so I could not see. Did you get a license plate? I did not. I was trying to maneuver my way out of it. Out of their sight. So I found this place, and I somehow managed to lose them. Okay. So I got a weird you message. Want, you don't want anyone to know about the orange car with blue wheels? Not yet, because they said that they're watching me, and that they will let me know something about Agatha very soon. But if I told somebody, they would murder her, and I wouldn't be able to see her again. Okay. I'm terrified. But don't, please don't check anything. Don't tell anyone. I just want you to be alert in case of anything. Okay. And I am, uh, I do have this being recorded. So, uh, you know, for my safety, I'm, you know, I don't want to have to go into my tablet where I can't see anything. If anything were to happen, I want to be able to stay vigilant if anything were to pop up or someone were to mm. Why? Don't worry, I will keep this footage. Uh, strictly to myself. But, uh, we are treating... Uh, Why? Having to do with... Why, what? Lieutenant, is there absolutely no... You know, discreetness nowadays? Everything uh, has to be recorded, everything has to be expanded, everything has to be accessible to people like my daughter, like everyone else. <sighs> it's merely. Are you okay? I mean, if I it's will be. Us, um, I have faith. Okay. Now that I have well, your help. Well, sir, if at all necessary, if you feel and you have absolutely no hope in me finding you somewhere safe, you can go into witness custody. I don't know. I'm a little nervous about what might happen to my daughter, and you see, I don't want anything to happen to her until at least I get to see her myself. So you said you believe the individual who's driving an orange car with blue wheels has the mayor? I believe that. Okay. How many times have you seen this vehicle? About six times tonight. When was the last time you saw it? Maybe ten minutes ago at City Hall. At City Hall. Okay. Uh, they were spray the painting portal? some, some things. Okay. But they were in a cloak. A cloak. Did they have the build of a male or a female? I could not tell it was a cloak. Mm, you could, I mean, you couldn't get any rough idea if they were tall or short. Medium size. Medium? Okay. Was the car a four-door or a two-door? Four. Four-door? Sports or sedan? Sports. Okay. Mm. Uh, and you don't have any idea of the license plate numbers? None. What kind of criminal runs around in a city like this? Why is nothing being done? You would think that my daughter, being the so-called mayor, would have cleaned up this these streets. Your daughter has a little bit of a vendetta against the mayor. I mean, against the police force. Hmm. And yet you voted for her. Why is that, if I may ask? Uh... I don't know, one of her ex-husbands was an officer, and, uh, I don't know, they got into a little divorce dispute, and at last I saw him, I think she slapped him. Oh, Lord. But, uh, of, of, of the better judgment of our chief, I believe they are just holding on to that case, if necessary. But, uh... Oh, God. What? I saw something. Where? Over there. Over there, where those things are, right over there, the gates. It was like a quick little flash. A flash of what? Hey! Come over here, you... <laughs> Why did 
you have to do that, sir? You voted for her. You voted for my daughter, didn't you? Hold on. I'm catching my breath. <laughs> I knew it. I don't know the Why concerns. did you try to kill me? I'm trying to help you, sir. What make what difference does it make that I voted for Agatha? Cause she is not fit to run anything. Why? Because you... she's a female? Cause she is incompetent. She is not worthy of anything, and yes, because she is a female. You will all pay eventually for putting her in a position of power where she can rub it in my face. Sir, I, I, I don't even know what to say to you, but we're going to get you to the hospital as soon as possible. I, do you even feel the, the shots that went in your chest, or do you have some I, sort of vest on? If he has, uh, oh, I if feel it. I am gun. trying with all my might to not scream. Um, 501, uh, mm. you, you uh, want to come with me? I'm going to transport him to pillbox for treatment. She will pay. So I will make sure of it. To the fucking third floor. Possibly. Sir, look. You want to call Brian? Or fucking, not, not Brian. What the fuck's his name? Brandon? Ethan. A little... We, we, we need to get him a little fun fact. I have not taken my pills today. I lied. <laughs> you devious... I need... Devious sociopath. I need help. Will you please help me? I'm gonna contact Dr. Damon. Um, we're gonna need to have him uh, come in for surgery. I'm code two to, I'm uh, code one to uh, pillbox. I can't Great. think clearly. Mm. Oh, it's okay. Man. All right, 501. Uh, no hard I'm feelings, Lieutenant. Well, I mean, not for me. You uh, could have uh, um, not telegraphed that so easily, honestly. I'm just a silly old man off his medication. All I need is a little sympathy and guidance. Uh, Mr. Loke uh, attempted to stab me in a personal meeting. He's been shot several times. We might need you down here for surgery at Bobox. Tell him to hurry. I'm in excruciating pain. Ten for it. See you here soon. All right. So I'm going to apply field dressings. In all, all fairness, right, Lieutenant, I stabbed you. I try attempted to stab you in the back. But in all fairness, you stabbed me in the back by not coming alone. Why would an officer go anywhere alone? Mm. All right, Dr. Damon, he's suffered several uh, gunshots to the chest. Oh. I've applied okay. field dressings. Uh, he is still bleeding. Help. All right. Help. Mr. Luke, we gotta stop meeting like this. Yes, we do. <laughs> Taking your meds? <laughs> No. Okay. 
<laughs> it hurts so much, but I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. That is almost instantaneous. Yeah, good. I need help, doctor. Yeah, I have to wait for the sedative to kick in before I can take the bullets out of you. Mm hmm. should fall asleep in a few minutes. Mm. I'm trying to stay awake. I don't want to go to sleep. Well, then you're going to be in a lot of pain. Hey, uh, can you send the officer that shot him back here? <clears throat> Where the hell did I lose that fucking cap? Get your fucking jacket off. No. Oh. <laughs> I can't do it. Sure. Nope. I don't even remember how much how many times he shot me. Four. Let's just say four. I'm gonna need some extra hands in here. Just someone to uh, look while I get the bullets out. Uh, let me wash my hands. Yes, please. I don't need him getting infections. Also, since he is asleep, I will tell you that he informed me he has not taken his medication. Unfortunately, my gloves are really thick and I can't take them off. I might have to have the cadet help you. Hold on one second. I just need someone.
so hard to find good help these days. Wash your hands, and then we gotta move quick. He's twitching. His gloves are off, even though it doesn't look like it. it that's he should be wearing gloves. There's medical gloves on the counter there. Throw a pair one, and hurry up. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what do you want me to do? When I get this bullet out, I'm going to need you to place the gauze over the first wound. All right. You ready? Yep. And I'm going to need you to hold it there. Uh, Shane, can you pass me the suture kit? Sure. I'm going to need four of them as well. They are. Thank you. It's giving me a uh, major flashbacks. This is why they give us basic, uh, basic <clears throat> medical training All right. whenever we join. Rem remove the gauze so I can start stitching it. All right. Ready? We got three more. Yep. Ready when you are. All right, I'm ready to search. To the next one. All right. Anyway. All right. Ready. Last one. Sorry about that. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you don't have to be sorry. <laughs> I expected it to go that way, to be honest. <laughs> but I had hope. Alright. All there is to do is wait for the sedative I gave him to wear off. And, uh... <laughs> see if... See how he feels. Uh, should we move him into a recovery room? Yeah, we can. Oh my uh, god, look at that. Uh, actually, close. officer, do you mind uh, taking him? I gotta take the yeah. gloves off. <laughs> Alright, 
right, sir. I'll put you with this bed here. I want to inform Mr. Damon. I think he's waking up. Loves. Mm, faces. Babies. Nagatha. How are you feeling, Mr. Luke? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to put him on the bed, but he keeps sliding off. Yeah, it's pretty normal for him. No, uh, what? Well, yeah. Mr. Luke? Uh, what? How are you feeling? Uh, what happened? Mm. Oh, Lord. So, um, I'll, I'll let one of you officers explain to him. All right, Mr. Luke, can you please flex your X muscle for me? I cannot. Uh, you should still be cuffed. Yeah, you're still cuffed. I didn't remove those. All right, Mr. Luke, before I say anything to you, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney, if one is available. Uh, if not, uh, one provided to you by the state. Um, do you understand these rights as I read them to you? Yes, but what did I do? You tried to kill me. What? Yeah, you tried to kill me. Hey, uh, Mr. Luke, are you on your medication? Uh, no. While in the vehicle and he was bleeding out, he admitted that he has not been taking it. I was feeling fine and thought, what the heck? Maybe I should stop. You, did you explain to him that medication has a half-life? Typically it takes a day or two before it has full effect and the effect wears off? Yes. Okay, well, there's your answer, sir. You would have felt fine not taking it, but it takes a while to get out of your system. And also, you are required to take that medication. Otherwise, you all will be 5150'd. Once we get a hold of a judge, we're gonna make that. Okay. Make that in law. Mm. Uh, I'm just waiting for government to approve uh, Mr. Dredd. Mm hmm. However, um, are you. Is he uh, medically capable to uh, be processed at MRPD? How you feeling, Mr. Luke? Fine, but confused. I'm Good. sorry. Um, all right. Yeah, he's medically it? clear. Uh, the bullets are out of his body. Uh, he's been stitched up. Do you have his shirt on him by any chance? Your, the shirt in the, is it in the I, surgery room still? I had to cut his shirt off. Mm. All right, Mr. Right. Loke. Sorry about that. You're going to have to go shirtless to MRPD. But don't worry. We got really good air conditioning inside the truck. Wonderful. The, the truck. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you for your help, Dr. Damon. Yeah, I'll, I'll be on duty for a bit tonight. Thank you, sir. All Please right, excuse my farmer's tan. I know how it is. I got the same one. All right, sir, I'm going to be putting you in the back of the vehicle, and I'm going to buckle you in. Mm-hmm. When can I go home? Um, you might be going to jail, Mr. Loke. I had no idea what I was doing. I promise I will take my medication. Mm, the way you sounded earlier, I don't know, sir. Now that I see what happens if I don't do it, it's a reality check. Oh, unfortunately, that's not how the real world works, sir.
I have a bad habit of following the law, apparently. We're gonna have to see about possibly holding you for 5150. Well, you, are, you are a threat. To, you are a threat to yourself and others. Unfortunately, you did try to kill a police officer, and that cannot be forgiven. Leo is a pretty big charge. Yeah, I would say so. All right, sir. All right, before we take you inside, I'm going to insert you one last time just to make sure. Do you have anything? Do you have anything that's going to poke, prod, or hurt me? Probably. So you better dig in carefully. That mustache looks pretty pointy to me. It has been known to stab a bitch or two. Well, we got a vintage pistol, some ammo. Jeez, why do you need a knife, a wrench, and a bat? I like to collect items. True. A wrench is to be used at uh you know when you work on vehicles, a bat is when you play baseball. A knife you use a knife to skin animals. It can also be used as a weapon, which is why I'm taking all all of them. Well, these hands can be used as weapons too. Are you gonna take his hands? Yes. You know what? I like the cowboy. You like the cowboy? You wanna process some dice? <laughs> no, I'm not the one that he tried to kill. I uh, I always gotta do all the work. I had no idea what I was be, doing. If you try to kill me, I would be the one processing. Listen, I am very rich. I can make this worth your while if you just turn the your eye the other direction. Wait, how I rich promise, are you? That's real question. I promise that's, I will take my medication. That's, that's, another charge. that's bribery. It's would you like to rethink what you're saying? I did give you your right, sir. I thought I, I had a right to, uh, to say it. Yeah, you do. It doesn't mean I can't hold it against you. You have a right to turn it down. No farm. I what, mean, no harm, you know? Here? I'm sorry. I'm out of it right now. <laughs> I'm like, where do we go? You keep going all over the place. I think this he's place distracted is confusing. by me. He's still in shock. Yep. Right, it's so okay. I forgive you. You see how easy that is? I you could forgive me. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I guess he's escaped. Please. The hell? Whoa. Sorry about that. You kind of fell. Oh, oh my god. The, he, he fell into the void. He fell I need medication. I need medication, please. I promise. I, pr I promise I will take it. Just let me out. Let me go home. Okay, here. Go ahead and put your arms against the door. <laughs> I'll go ahead and remove your cuffs. Uh. Jesus Christ, someone oh God, give that man a beano. <laughs> why are you so close? <laughs> I wasn't close to you. Oh, hey there. Where'd he go? He just went into the void. Hey, do you come in? Do you come here often? Cowboy, if you let me go now that he's gone, I will pay you handsomely. Handsome. Change. I was trying to ask you earlier, how rich are you? I am the owner of Loke Plastic Bottle Cap Company. Outside of town. So do you just make caps for bottles or do you make the bottles themselves too? Just the plastic bottle caps. I, the world's 99% of plastic bottle caps come from my company. So you can only imagine how rich I am. I mean, you sound pretty rich to me. Just let me go. Let Tell them that I escaped or something. It's not your fault, but I will make it worth your while, please. I mean, I can't really do much because uh, Shane cuffed me and he has the keys to my cuffs. How about so, the blondie outside? He doesn't have the keys because he's not the guy that cuffed us. Mm. Well, fuck. No, I'll never. I will never be able to find my daughter in here well what have you been up to since like basically well 
obviously you, you talk to Shane in the little dark alley, but besides that, um, what do you talk to him? Uh, I mean, what what have you been doing be, between us talking here and at that and that at that time? Well, just trying to figure out who voted for my daughter and trying to find my daughter. And Why are you obviously, trying to look for people I voted for her? And obviously forgetting to take my medication. I just want to get people's input as to why they feel they think you want to go take a nap. that she is a good mm -hmm. fit to run here. this city. But why, why are you trying to look for people that voted for her? I just told you, are you not paying attention to me? I'm trying. Or are you distracted by my mustache? Touche. Uh, headache. Jinx. <laughs> All right, Dallas, go ahead and head on out. Oh, All okay. Right. That's not Dallas. <laughs> Ooh, ow, that... I don't even care if that hurt. You knew that would happen. Just that let me like go, hurt. please. I have goals I need to attain before... Anything. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna. I'm, you're just. You just keep adding your rap sheet. Can I help you, Dallas, or not? All right, now stay here, and I'll I, let you fall into the void again. I thought you and I had a good connection. We do. I'm a very patient man. Hold on. All right, everyone, move away. <laughs> okay, look, I'm. I'm walk. I'm walking way over yonder. Thank you, sir. All right, Mr. Loke. Yes. Stand in the door, remove your cuffs. You should feel a lot better now. I do. I would feel a lot more better if you could forgive me. And now I need to go clock in on duty. Can you start the report, Dallas? Do you not believe uh, in second chances? Sure. I think this is more like a fourth chance. Mm. <laughs> Shoot, god dang it. How about a fifth chance? Oh, that's on him. You both could pretend to be knocked out. Just turn away. Let me. I don't me... make a god dang new god dang report. God dang it, this is stupid. It is stupid. There we go. Fuck. Okay, there we go. How do you War scene. Uh, think about slash MVP. Oh. Edit charges. Oh, oh, that is great. Oh, that is really bright. I prefer the blue of my old NBC, but whatever. There's no, there's no attempt to murder in this bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it is bullshit. I usually do uh, aggravated assault. Well, well that's a nice... That's the wrong, that's the wrong freaking thing, and then Mr. No. Loke could bring us to court over it. No, 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 it's, pr it's really nice. I'll accept that. He didn't stab me. Exactly. But, uh, For all you guys know, I was just flexing my arm because I was afraid of the threat that I was feeling from that orange car. I wasn't oh, trying to stab him. Unfortunately, my card. body cam says different. Your body cam? Um, what happened to that orange car being a secret, Mr. Loke? And now that you've said it wide open... I well, I'm kind of fucking stuck in this cell, so I have no fucking choice but to just tell everybody uh, why I was doing what I did. Alright. All you had to do was just let me record it. I would have submitted it to high command, and we would have moved it up the pole, and we would have gotten everything taken care of, and fucking got whoever drove that orange car i wasn't on medication i wasn't thinking clearly you are correct i am sorry hey 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 are, are we are we are the, 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 what's your name what's your name shane are we doing robbery and all that good stuff or is it just uh, aggravated assault just give me another chance yeah. folks please i mean i'm just an unmedicated Bribus old man looking for his times. daughter Oh, and, uh, boy. 
Well, guess what? Fling isn't in here. Well, I guess we can do it. We could do escaping, though. No, 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 no. Right, go ahead, do it. I did not escape. That is falsery. Technically, you did because you were in this room and you attempted to escape. But guess what? Attempted to escape doesn't exist. Only escape exists. Exactly. I did not escape. I may have escaped this room, but I did not escape this building, which is bigger you than just, this you room. Just said it, you just said it yourself. You escaped that room. But not the building. And the building is but the bigger force. The, the building is the bigger space but than this what's freaking bigger room. Force than the building? The, the world. building? The and world. You can never escape the I world. I can't ever escape it. Sometimes I, I wish I would. I could. I mean, I wish I could too sometimes, especially dealing with some people. Oh my gosh, I wish I just get the fuck off this goddamn planet. These humans are just they're 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 not right. You uh, and me both. We're arguing semantics with someone who just tried to kill a police officer. I did not try to I'm not kill really you. I'm arguing. I'm just talking. I saw well. office a lieutenant. I saw. I yeah. told you I saw an orange thing pass by, and I got scared and I took out my knife. You thought I was attacking you, but I really wasn't. You know it's true. I had trust in you that I didn't even search you prior to our meeting. You should have, and, and I am sorry, but I, I, I wasn't, it wasn't directed towards you. I don't know. It seemed directed towards me from what you said, right when you pulled out your knife. Well, I can blame you for thinking that because I would probably think that too. But honestly, I even told you, look, I saw something over there and I got scared. You noticed I got scared. Yeah, you looked very agitated, and you were very agitated when I told you that I was recording the situation. Well, because I was afraid I would be discovered by the orange driver. Now, why would that orange driver have access to police body cam? Because he said, or she, that they have access to hack anything they want, and that they can look at me, they can look at you, they can track everything. I don't know how My technology works, I'm an old man. Well, I can assure you, our body cams record. You look pretty good for an old man. Well, you thank abs. you, cowboy. Oh, you're welcome. You have abs for being old. Oof. That's like impressive. It's not just that. Look how vascular he is, too. Look at his arms. Look at those veins popping. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, just uh, you throw the basic charges in there. Of course, <laughs> yeah, aggravated assault, time, robbery, escape. I look good. Yep. I look um, too so... good for this freaking prison. So are we doing zero percent? Or are we doing some prison. percentage? Uh. The total, the 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 the, the total fine is gonna be nine k, and it's gonna be forty months in prison. Well, to be well, honest, I feel like maybe uh fifty percent. So it's uh, 50, uh. Twenty months in prison, but then thirteen five. In that's fines. fair. That's fair. I don't know what any of that means. I'll pay whatever I need to do. Just please let me out. We're just trying, we're, we're, we're basically, you're going to be paying a higher fine, but you're going to be serving less time. All right. Now, unfortunately, I shouldn't have to explain this, but due to this little situation and whether or not you say you were attempting to stab a police officer, you still pulled a knife on a police officer. You're going to lose your weapons license for this, sir. I wasn't pulling it on you. I was just pulling it out to protect us. Well, what is see, your state, what is your state ID? I was I was looking through my binoculars, and you aimed right at him, and you tried to stab him before he ran away from you. I had an episode. I'm sorry. So even if even if his even if his GoPro didn't wasn't looking ahead uh, at you, 14, you know my 14. point of view will show that in the GoPro. Wow, cowboy, you too. And my state ID is 14. All right. Hey, maybe you should teach a cadet how to do this stuff. Instead of doing it, Mr. Shane. I'm not jailing him yet. I'm revoking his weapons license. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Mate, how do you do that? You need to tell the cadet how to do that. I can't do that yet. I have to be a sergeant or higher. Well, for future... For future reference, you just think of slash revoke license and then their special little ID number and then what license you revoke. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I see, I see. 
It's a lot of thinking. Mm hmm. All right, sir. Uh, um, you will no longer have the ability to buy any weapons at any local ammunition. Um, is the report completed, Mr. Dallas? Shoot, no. That's going to take. We, we send them off and then we do the report. All right. Do you know how long that's going to take? All right, Cadet, whenever we send someone off to jail, you want to make sure that any police officers are not nearby you because we have an issue where sometimes people get mixed up. Kind so, like, like uh, cuffing? Yep. So, have uh, me, have me you found him yet? Stand up. Oh, All right, yeah, so yeah. what do I do? Hold on. You can uh, talk first, to me through the radio. First, you're going to first you're gonna find him. All right. Do that how? And, uh, Oh. And you can see him. Okay. Want him just like going, and then you're gonna, you know, put his name on the uh, on the ticket. And then you're gonna put in the amount of the fine. <laughs> that was for the no, thirteen thousand five hundred. Wait, you put his name on it? The ID is 14. Yes. Is that right? Okay. Would that be pre made? Is it just that one? Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just put it, it's just a murder and robbery, uh, uh, and once again, you can put his name on that invoice. Can you spell check bribery for me? Yep, do I include the job uh, in the invoice? Include job name in invoice? Uh, sure. Alright, amount and reasons? Society will receive money, or you will receive money. It's uh, cute. Very cute. I am so powerful. Alright, All right, Mr. Warson. Once you pay your fine, we'll be sending you off to jail. I don't know where you got that umbrella from. <laughs> But you can access your fines through your uh, F7 muscle. You should receive a notification once it's paid. You got it. So it's kind of weird. Yeah, there you go. Never mind. Was I supposed to get it or was the PD supposed to get it? Did you get it, Dallas? Did I get what? The notification of the payment. At all, please. I did. I got it. Okay, you got it? Okay. Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. Okay, now, now you're going to send them off to jail. Stand in front of the door. <laughs> run away, run away. I don't want to get to the jail. What's his, uh, get his name ID look like? Fourteen. Fourteen. 
I'm locked inside here, but that does not mean I have men working for me. <laughs> Is it there space or no? Mm. All right, jail time. Holy schnitz. What? Holy moly. I had no idea that this... Mm. They take everything? Yes, they do. Twenty months. Where is this? <laughs> it's okay. eventually find her and if I don't one of them will <laughs> it's okay. So what's 20 months in real time? Does anybody know? Oh shit, 17 months already? So it's like 20 minutes?
Holy shit. The fuck? The hell? The heck is happening? Let the trash out of the barrels in the yard and bring them to me. Is it this shit? No. This is humiliating. Darling daughter, when I find you, I am going to make it hurt. What? What's this? Throw the ball against the wall.
Oof. <laughs> well, that would be interesting, but I'm going to go to sleep after this.
the hell is this visitor center? I did. Get this shit. Oh lord, all the way back there. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, but I can't get to that. Can I? This is a maze. And I am not I'm like so disoriented. Backhanded bitch slap for the win.
it's fine. If this is his life from now on, it's his life. <laughs> I'd rather figure it out. from here though, right? Mm-hmm. Right. To the report thing if I can't find it. If I for sure lose all hope. Okay, there's somebody there. There's one of the guards that I beat down. Skybox. Yeah. But I want to see if I find it first. Unless it's literally broken, then I might as well stop. But well, there's no entrance there. How the fuck did I get out? I came from here. What the fuck? <laughs> Logins in the front, front office CC. Sam Jackson has a sex tape plays. Police are accessing City Hall CCTV looking for Nina Spur painted the. hilarious oh my gosh can somebody just shoot me ha huh. are you the man I'm looking for you make a habit of into fucking asshole <laughs> oh, 
was a prison guard. I mean a prison prisoner. Fucking fucker. Oh shit! Watch where you walk in it. Don't fuck me. Turn around. You're not the man. What the fuck? I see a blow clot. Follow me. Don't I the phone? Hmm. He sure did. Does he have all his shit? And your pockets back? I did. Thank you. No problem. Where do I say it? In the... In the thing? In the skybox, you said? Oh. Wow.
Why, yes. Hell does indeed await. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Good night.